Welcome to the Jacob Slatter maintenance video. We at Jacob Slatter are always looking to improve the value that we deliver to our customers. This DVD has been put together to communicate not only on how to maintain your Jacob Slatter, but to offer you information on how a Jacob Slatter works in order that you may maximize the life of your investment. We would first like to start out by describing how the Jacob Slatter works. Jacob Slatter is built on a concept of airflow and restriction of that airflow through an enclosed blower fan. This gives Jacob Slatter a reliable mechanism that offers our users the ability to vary speed on their own without the assistance of maintenance ridden clutches and motors. The waste belt is tied to a cable that, through a series of small white pulleys, releases the braking mechanism. The brake is a simple lever that has a counterweight on the other end. At the same end as the counterweight is a small section of V-belt that rides inside a V-belt pulley. The V-belt pulley is 8 inches in diameter and requires only a small amount of resistance to bring the machine to a complete stop. The V-belt section needs to come in complete contact with the V-belt when the waist belt is in its relaxed mode. After the brake release, the second function of the waist belt and cable is to provide speed control. It does so by pulling a black valve over the top of the opening of an enclosed blower fan. Since air is the blower fan's only resistance, once the air is restricted, the blower fan tends to spin faster, causing an increase in speed to the user. In this mode, top speed is achieved when the valve is completely covering the blower opening. Then, to increase the speed further, as the user continues to climb, the cable will raise the blower assembly and disengaging the large V-belt drive. The blower will continue to rise until the drive is completely disengaged and the unit is in a free fall state. The rungs of Jacob's Ladder slide on an interface of a mirrored finished stainless steel plate which is attached to the side of the rung and a strip of plastic. The plastic is called UHMW and is a special polymer designed for friction-free operation. This interface is extremely important to the operation of Jacob's Ladder. It is important that this interface stay clean and free from debris. That is why it is recommended that you do not oil the chains on a Jacob's Ladder. Since the chains ride so close to the plastic and stainless steel interface, any additional oil or grease may cause this interface to become dirty and a slipping feeling may occur. If this happens, please go to the section mark cleaning the stainless steel. This will help to get your Jacob's Ladder back operating correctly. The optic sensor is located on the lower jack shaft located near the blower unit at the bottom of the machine. This optic sensor initiates the computer and counts the black stripes on the sensor sticker. Its proper operation will give correct feet per minute, elapsed time, total feet climbed, and calorie calculation. If this sensor or sensor sticker becomes dirty or the sensor sticker becomes misaligned with the sensor, the computer may miscount steps, give lower than expected readings, or become stuck on hold. If this hap happens, please go to the section mark, computer stuck on hold. The electrical system on Jacob's Ladder and the Biggest Loser Ladder differ. The Biggest Loser Ladder gets power for its display from plugging it into a power outlet. However, Jacob's Ladder gets its power from a battery pack and generator combination. When you hit the red power button, on the Jacob's Ladder display, the display should stay lit for 30 seconds on battery power before shutting off. This allows the user to input their weight using the reset eye. If the display goes off before the 30 seconds, this may indicate that your battery pack needs to be recharged. If this happens, go to the section mark recharging the battery pack. Your display should also come on by just starting your workout. If your display does not come on automatically once you start your workout, it means that the display is not getting power from the generator. Please go to the DVD section marked, Computer Not Coming On. 
Once you are finished with your workout, your display should stay on for 60 seconds, allowing you to resume your workout without resetting your parameters. 